This is Canon's entry-level PTZ, the N100. If you've seen our video about the Canon CRN300, then the CRN100 is simply this without the SDI output, but at a significantly lower price. Sensor and optics are the same, ease of use and autofocus are the same, and unusually Canon have opted to leave in the NDI and SRT licenses that tend to be missing from lower end models. If you aren't au fait with Canon's PTZs, let me show you why we like them so much. There are a multitude of generic PTZs on the market, but there are features which separate offerings from Canon, Panasonic and Sony from the rest of the pack. For me, top of this list is obviously picture quality, but a close second is how good is the control interface. Canon are well known for picture quality, and we love their skin tones and pleasing picture profiles, but whoever designed their web page control deserves an award for clarity. The cameras can be used in automatic modes, which match settings to the environment without the operator needing much experience. In fast changing situations, manual controls are easy to get at, rather than being buried deep down in menus. Autofocus is another area where Canon PTZs excel. Its hybrid system works even in low light, where other manufacturers' contrast detection struggles. Many lower cost PTZs produce grainy pictures when there isn't much light about. This is partly down to their small sensors, but also because their lenses stop down when zooming in. This is known as ramping. The CRN100 does ramp over its 20 times zoom range, but only by just over a stop from 1.8 to 2.8. So to summarize, Canon's new CRN100 is now our favorite PTZ under 2K. It's got a great interface, decent low light performance, and its autofocus is fantastic good colour profiles and the included NDI HX licence make it a bit of a bargain. If you want more details on the Canon CRM100 then check it out on our website. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.